And I think this guy's gonna trigger an AOO and go down next turn. There it is. I think that was the last threat, too. I don't think I'll get a chance to break the terminal or kill that guy. Are you sticking to one upgrade tree per priest or spreading it out? So each priest, I got a bunch of different level one things that were pretty nice. And then I started going all the way down one tree. For one guy, I did healer. For one guy, I did like ranged attacker. And the last guy, I would have to double check. I can't recall what the third one was. Uh, a statue group in the chamber ahead depicts several nameless Necron lords, all wielding a variety of weapons and implements of authority. Though not as dramatic as the target statue of Agrolag, it certainly represents the Necron leader's habit of self-disagreement. Uh, um... Destroy the statues. Oh, more Blackstone. Gunfire and grenades reduces the statues to scorched rubble and an outpouring of righteous anger at the blasphemy the Necrons represent. The noise and fury cannot help attract attention, but the statues are made of precious metals that are subsequently salvaged and the psychological impact of striking such a blow cannot be overstated. Mission complete. The monumental statue of Agrilek is bracketed with demolition charges. When they detonate, the statue topples, shattering the floor of the chamber just as the Necron's grip on Silva Tenebris will surely break under pressure from Adeptus Mechanicus. There's little joy to be had among the Necron tombs, but I took pleasure in seeing that statue fall. The resource expenditure of this mission should be exceeded by the benefit gained by jubilation for jubilation to be justified. Trust me, Mago Skitari might be mentally tougher than unaugmented troops, but even their morale is too important to ignore. I am heartened you are not neglecting the psychological health of our troops. Most tech priests do not give it a second thought. Most tech priests are not in command here. I am. <laughs> I mean, I think all things considered, this guy's a decent boss. Can I be the new priest? Uh, I don't remember if this mission gave, gave me priest. If it does, then sure. A uh, bunch of stuff. So at the very end there, we had some people injured despite my best attempts. Look at that, minus 40 Blackstone for that guy ending injured. It's so silly. Honestly, it is it is silly. Cause like, <sighs> Darkest Dungeon did this too. Like you would have healing abilities you could use in the fight, but you couldn't use them outside of combat. So you would like purposefully drag out fights in a weird way to use heal skills because you weren't allowed to use them after the fight. And this is the same same thing. It punishes you for needing to, to repair the troops after the fight. And it's like, there's, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. Come on. Uh, Litany of Life Canticle got a, uh, an upgrade. Uh, let's of the da da da. Collect 100 cog points, gain 9 cog points. I can't even hold that. Malab Sector located. The first phrase into this tomb reveal a sight equally magnificent as dismaying. The tomb is a vast alien data loom, its structure covered in columns of Xenos data as if its very substance were composed of knowledge. Some parts of the tomb are more organized, the libraries of shimmering data crystal, others are lightless chasms, where enormous pillars move constantly. Like the elements of a gargantuan machine endlessly searching and sorting, everywhere the air hums with the sheer volume of information seeping from every surface. The place is undoubtedly a mine of data. A tech priest could only look at it with lust as well as trepidation. So is that her thing? Melob sector? Um, what's the new thing it's talking about? Like this one has Void Admiral Agrilek. I'm guessing that's like boss boss. Lord Astronomer Acropsis. Oh, maybe this guy's missions is just like the boss missions. Maybe. I'm guessing. Yeah, so so uh, of all of these, the only one that's got, like, named dudes is this guy. Um, okay. For now, let's go over here. Alright, we got a new tech priest. Um... Was it Serbi? Could I be the new priest? Honestly, I think Cerberus might be the most tech priest sounding name we've had. Oh, it's Cerberus. Cerberus? Cerber... Cerberos. 
Cerberus. Your name is spelled weird. I've never even noticed it before. I've always just like glazed over it. All right. Let's get the buff skull again. It's really cheap. We can stack them. Plus four for ranged weapons is nice. Let me see something. All right, so this is... So draft was going down ranged DPS tree. Bird tree was starting to go down Tex Auxilium. I'm not really in a rush on that one though. Sass is the powerhouse right now, uh, going down the healing tree and is very tanky. What was the thing I said wasn't helping me much? There's the scanner. Who had that? You. If I got rid of the scanner, what other options do you have? Absorb five damage to allies in range for one round. I mean, that might be good. Your defense, yeah. Target a troop, its next basic attack is plus one damage with our sacred, but that costs a cog point. I could give him an axe, but... Or I could give this guy the knockback tendril like the other one. That's certainly not bad. So, what do I not have a specialist for? Um, going full melee. Don't really know if I want to do that. Um, I mean, honestly, the, the, the troop going full melee is pretty tight, because they the, could just throw all the skulls on it. Uh, let's see. I've got someone going down this tree, this tree, and this tree. What does this tree do? Lex Maniac. Gain a cog point. Collect all cog points from a source. One cog point gain killing a target. Scanners have minus one cooldown. Uh, active, fill the cog gauge. Five turn cooldown, fill the cog gauge. Passive, collect one cog point when hit by an enemy. So this guy's like a battery for cognition points. Uh, Try it out. Uh, I'd, I'd like them to specialize in something I don't already have. Lex mechanic. Let's try it out. Okay. Adds four hit points. Hit points and movement. Fizz armor, energy armor. I mean, we're... Let's go. One of each armor type. Dude, you're gonna look like Vader. <laughs> Suddenly you got three eyes. <laughs> I love the combination of the tech crap plus robes. It's a weird thing. So that was collect all cog points from one source. That could actually be very useful immediately. Alright, so... 
What kind of weapons do we want to give this person? Let's do gamma pistols. Those skip armor. Um, healing dendrite. Got two more. Axe. What is the specialist item for this tree? Scanners. I guess I could give him a scanner. Try it out. All right, we'll see how that goes. Okay, missions. Um. I am intimidated by. The I want the level two Skatari Rangers, but I am scared. Scared. Not sure if I should do more normal missions before I go there. So this mission would give me better axes. This one, level two rangers, I don't need that, but more cog points, that could be cool. Um this one basically a flamethrower. Requires four cognition to fire. Oh, that's a pain. Uh, and this one, Volkite Blaster, that's single target damage. Sanctus Canister, a unit gains two damage, three movement, 10% crit chance until its next basic attack. Oh wow, you could use that like turn one. Treasure Hunt, Skatari Vanguard level one. I don't know what those are yet, Arc Pistol. All right, maybe the ax. All right, radiation burns. Damage sustained during warp transit forced the Sasis Metallican to vent much of its fuel reserves. Quartermaster Rowe suggests uh, acquiring a supply of isotopic material from the tomb of Agrilek for use as fuel on the Sasis uh, Metallican. like XCOM very it, it looks like XCOM when you look at the battle but the rules are all different like for example if you've got a dude with six arms he can do an attack with all six of those arms in one turn it's not like an it's you know on XCOM it's like you can move once you can do one action and that action might be fire a gun throw a grenade use a med kit whatever you know but you can do like one thing a turn in this game you can do an action per limb and if you keep you can add more limbs so sometimes like you might have one high level troop that just does like 20 things in a turn uh may go stable orbit achieved and maintained my thanks quartermaster i would remain in geosynchronous orbit for the duration of this mission fuel reserves calculated continuous orbit probable but not certain additional fuel acquisition recommended Attention required. Troublesome news, Magos. The tanks are nearly empty. Supplies are low. Far from sufficient. Problematic in the extreme. How can our supplies be low? We only just arrived here, Quartermaster. Warp transit less than satisfactory. New reports state cargo supplies vented to the void as a result of damage. Most unacceptable. Then what is our situation now, Quartermaster? Deploying armed force on hostile world is costly exercise, logistically complex. Running costs for the Sastus Metallican in orbit far from negligible. Crisis and isotopic fuel matter for the core reactors. Disappointment and frustration are flooding my neuro vaults and require containing quarantining. I focus instead on a solution. Can you present one? The tomb of Agrilet contains strong traces of radioactive decay. Supplies of necessary materials present. Request acquisition before materials half-life is expired. The Tomb of Agrilek isn't particularly welcoming, Magos. Are you certain it's worth the risk to go in? Our mission here cannot be fulfilled if the Sastus Metallican has insufficient fuel to stay in stable orbit. Very well. I hope the Quartermaster understands what missions like this cost. 
Cost of deployment less than value of resources acquired. Mission is mathematically justified. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> A series of metallic archways of tarnished and brutalist appearance line the passageway ahead. They appear to have some function, but what purpose they serve in Agrilek's tomb is not apparent. Examine to see if it's a device. If so, can it be deactivated? The first archway proves to be a form of energy projector, and the tech priests ascertain it can be overloaded with a simple bypass ritual. The tech right causes the device's circuits to burn out, leaving the tunnel of archways harmless and demonstrating the supremacy of the omniscient sacred logic over the base cunning of the alien. And battle. Scan or destroy. Assassin front. One troop. Keep Cerberus back a little bit for now. Let's see. Put the buff skull on him. Fire slash scan. Seven hit points remaining. Mm, he does not have the make next shot free skill, so end there. Uh, I gotta head out. I got a long day. Have fun. See you, Any. You have a good one. If I had to pick someone to get shot... Buff Skull on that guy. Reduce cost of next shot. will damage the scanner, but it can, won't destroy it. He's down. It's gonna be kind of difficult to reach that guy to finish him before he gets back up, I think. Two. Third buff skull on this guy. Let's test something with Serbi here. Can he scan this? Yes. Where's that other move? Oh, it requires the servo skull to collect all cog points from a skull, or, or from a source. Okay, okay, okay. So, I just attached the skull to that troop, so I can't do that for two more turns. Can you use it? Yeah, it's good. That is a longer range than I thought it did. That's cool. Get a cog point from this guy. So, let's see, there's the scanner over there.
Any repairs? <laughs> so this dude with three skulls attached to him? Look at his movement, chat. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I could go to Mississippi in one turn. It's fine. Eight critical. This guy's at one health. The moment he moves, he's gonna die from AOO. What's up, Aerolosen? Hello, welcome. Muckle Douglas, but thought it'd be original Death Squad. The fourth, this is Shots of Festivals. The third, welcome to you, Aerolosen, and your dear viewers to the lamp. Hope you enjoy your entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. Welcome. Uh, I could drop one more troop in right there. AOO. Down. Sit down. Let's see. Move this guy up here. Oh, wait. If I... Okay, I think literally all enemies are down right now. Uh... I mean, I guess, I guess that's fine. We can use the dendrite to kill this thing. Smack for one. Alright. And turn. And this dude over here and finish off this guy. Not much I need him to do. So first off, move there. We're gonna kill that guy and then move up to scan to try to get as much blackstone as possible. There it is. Kill all enemies. Um. What enemies? <laughs> that is the first time it's ever told me kill all enemies and there was nothing on the field. Oh boy, he coming. Dang, Dang boy. boy, he thick. He thick. <laughs> the cohort's rad sniffers are detect rad sniffers are detecting potential traces of target isotopes. The trail leads through a half-collapsed series of chambers crumbling under the weight of the shifted landscape overhead. It may be perilous to pursue, but could bring the cohort to their objective more quickly. Um Survey the chamber before taking the route. It will not be quite as fast, but will mitigate risk. The cohort sizes up the stability of the chambers ahead before proceeding. Their field engineering expertise tells them which parts to avoid, and while they do not make very fast progress, they emerge on the other side of the collapse unscathed. Their thoroughness also turns up a cache of rare elements unearthed by the upheaval. Uh, scanner... Extract two cog points. Oh, I think our scanners just got improved. I think we just got, like, level two scanners. I wonder if that affects the ones already equipped right this second in the middle of the mission. Blackstone. Oh, wait, a CP. Oh, shoot, I thought the green ones were always Blackstone. Whoops. All right, I'm going to loop around through that and then go for the finale right there. Nothing in this room, apparently. Extra Necrons in battle. Ingenuity and observation above haste, mego, supply intelligence, solve problem. Erratic and illogical radiation readings are throwing off the cohort's ability to track the target isotopes. Um... Hmm. Attempt to fix the rad sensors. Ooh! The cohort applies tech lore to the rad sensors and determines the sensors are not the source of the problem, but a local source of radiation. They locate a cache of isotopic material, not the mother load they are seeking, but still valuable. 47 blacks on there, nice. Uh, 
loopy thing. I don't know what that one is. Plus three hit. Oh, it's, it's a heal, but my troops are all full health. All right. Final part of the mission. Necrons reanimate one turn faster. Okay. All right. Scan or destroy. Uh, all right. So there's two terminals. Oh god, how many enemies are already here? One, two, three, four, five at least. Wait, are there three terminals? Oh my goodness. All right. Put Sass in front. These guys back a bit. Okay, draft lore goes first. Buff this troop. And... What's up, Neov? Fire and scan that guy. He's got six health remaining. Are you liking Mechanicus a bit more? You make it sound like I didn't like it before. Yeah, it's good. This will damage the console, but not destroy it. Maybe down this guy. Yep, is down. Oh, I guess those don't have a down state. I don't know if I noticed that before. It's brutal in the early game. Yeah, I got frustrated when... So, like, I did an easy mission, and then I, after that, it's, like, easy or normal. And I was like, well, easy was very easy. So I did a normal one and got rocked. Like, absolutely decimated. It wasn't even a fight. And I was just like, oh, my God. So, yeah, that was pretty rough. All right, put a buff on that guy. Uh, so I've been like farming easy missions and then after that I started kind of farming normal missions and now I'm kind of ready I don't know about if I'm ready to start a hard mission yet but we'll see seven. Uh, make next shot free. And since this is the last mission here, max the machine spirit of all weapons. There's a very low chance we'll kill that guy, so let's hit these two. I guess I can't do any more movement. No, it looks like the scanner we've got right now did not get upgraded. Uh in the way that I was hoping, like in the middle of the mission. This isn't gonna kill it, but it'll soften him up. <laughs> 